Hey, it's Dave, the founder and developer of the House Flipping Spreadsheet, and I wanted to show you a quick video tutorial about the cool new adders feature in the Repair Cost Estimator. Our Repair Cost Estimator is pre-built with a database of 24 scopes of work and over 400 common repair items so you can create detailed repair cost estimates for your rehab projects. But there are other costs and factors that you need to consider when estimating your repair costs, which is why we created the Adders module located in the upper left hand corner of the Repair Cost Estimator. The Adders module includes additional cost factors for your location, for building permit costs, contractors overhead and profit, and estimating contingency. The Location Modifiers feature allows you to quickly adjust and modify your estimates based upon your location. The estimator includes a pre-built list of common locations and multipliers from across the country that can be used to adjust your cost estimates to fit your specific market. Our Permits feature allows you to include permit costs based upon a percentage of the overall project value. Generally, permit costs will run about 1-2% to of the project value, so you can plug in a percentage amount to quickly calculate your rough permit costs for your project. The costs inside the Repair Cost Estimator assume that you'll be hiring and managing and subcontracting the work yourself. So if you're going to be an investor that is going to be hiring a general contractor to manage your project, you need to include costs to pay for the contractor's overhead and profit. General contractors generally charge 10 to 15% of the project value to manage the project. So simply plug in your percentage and the spreadsheet will calculate the general contractor's fee to manage your project. The final adders option is for estimating contingency, which you can use to cover estimating errors or omissions and any kind of unforeseen conditions on the project that can result in change orders or cost overages. If you have experience estimating costs in rehabbing houses and you've put together a detailed scope of work for your project, you may be comfortable with as little as 5% contingency for the deal. Now, however, if you have little to no construction experience or estimating costs and you maybe haven't even seen the condition of the property, then you will likely need a much larger contingency to cover those estimating omissions and errors and any kind of unforeseen conditions on the project. So as you can see, there are many factors that can influence your rehab estimates. So just make sure that you're considering your market location, you're adding in additional costs if you're going to be hiring out a general contractor to manage the project, and including contingency to cover any kind of unforeseen omissions and or issues that can arise on your projects. We thank you for watching and if you have any additional questions feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call.